Tracy, the company Ten to Two is interesting in name and origin. Can you tell us its history and its purpose? So Ten to Two stands for 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The working hours typically in a school day. And where the company came about, or how it came about, ten years ago, two professional women, Deborah O'Sullivan and Jane O'Gorman, uh, were professional women looking to return to the workplace and were just amazed at the lack of part-time opportunities available to them. And so they set about creating a specific recruitment company targeting women returners who wanted to work part-time around their children. So this is where it came from, but of course the world's moved on since then, so we have many more types of candidates and companies. And how is Ten to Two supporting those who want to work part-time? So we have a lot of professional candidates returning to work and we find that one of their main issues is their confidence and they're worried about their skills being rusty. So we provide free workshops and free advice, mostly workshops throughout the year, training them up in things like LinkedIn, CV writing, interview techniques. And this is all free because our commitment is to these candidates, to these members, to get them back up to speed, to get them back into the workplace. And of course, all the online advice and, and offline telephone calls at any point we can offer. And what does the job market look like for part-time professionals? Well, there's two stories for this. The, the history over the past 10 years, it's been improving and lots of reasons, there's lots of reasons for that. So. The recession caused a lot of companies to cut back on working hours to save cost and that started that change in behaviour. Technology of course we can all work more remotely now and legislation changes so more flexible working requests and shared paternity and maternity. So all of those have prompted a, an awareness of flexible working and part-time working but in reality the number of part-time jobs available at any one time for professional workers is small. So if you look at a job board Typically, 7 to 8% of jobs are advertised as part-time at any one point. That's a really low number. And how responsive have employers been in Gloucestershire? The, the market in Gloucestershire has been really responsive. I think there's a way to go, but in terms of the clients we work with and who we see, they're across different sectors, so from manufacturing to technology to creative industries, all kinds of roles, HR, marketing, accountancy. But there is a long way to go. If we go back to that number, that 7 to 8%, you know, there's an opportunity there for many, many more businesses to tap into this talent pool. Well, part-time work is growing amongst professionals. What are your plans for the next one to three years? So the next sort of one to three years, we have to continue working in the business community to change perceptions. So we have a huge pool of people, a huge pool of candidates wanting to work part-time, but we need to work with businesses to say, next time you define a job description or write a job description, don't automatically default to Monday to Friday, 9 to 5.30. Think differently. Think about all those people you could access if you thought a bit differently about your job description. So for us, the challenge is to work in the business community to really change their minds about how they think about recruitment.